Hello and welcome to Some If versus Some Ifs. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. All right, in this short video, we're gonna compare some if with some ifs, okay? So let's just do this. Ladies and gentlemen, to my left in red trunks, some if. And to my right, the challenger, some ifs. Let's get ready to rumble. Round one. All right, in this round, we're gonna compare the arguments and how we basically write the formulas. But before we do that, let's just talk about what these functions even accomplish. They're both like the sum function, you know, because they add stuff up, but there's this if. In other words, we can do conditional summing. We can include rows only when a certain condition is met. So they add things up, but we can do conditions. So with sum if, we would go equals sum if, all right, the first and second arguments are called range and criteria, and that's where we set up the condition. So what we would do is we'd say, look at this range, comma, and see which rows are equal to the criteria, this. And when the range is equal to the criteria, we want to sum which range. We wanna sum this range. All right, close the function, enter. So we get 1799. Now let's do the same thing, but this time with some ifs. Okay, so the order of the arguments are a little different here. The first argument is the sum range. So with some if, it was the last argument. With some ifs, it's the first argument. So it sounds more like this. We wanna add up this column of numbers, comma, and then the remaining arguments come in pairs. The criteria range, criteria value. So in this case, we would say, add up this column of numbers, comma, only include those rows where this column, comma, is equal to this value. Close function, enter, and we get 1799. Same result. So really, what is the difference between these functions, and like, how do we know what to choose? That brings us to round two. With some if, it's like singular, right? It's like we can do one condition. But with some ifs, it's like plural, right? And that's exactly what it is. It can do multiple conditions. So let's say we wanted to add up all of the customer transactions for DOP 090 and only include those rows where the item is equal to AB 101. Multiple columns, multiple conditions. Let's see if we can do this with some if. Equals some if. Here we wanna look at this range, so we wanna look at this column comma, and when it is equal to this value, comma, add up the values in here. And then it's like, wait a second, I don't have enough room to add like more columns. So we hit enter and we get the same result as before, 1799. In other words, the sum if function is designed to handle a single condition, a single column. Let's check some ifs. Equals sum ifs. Here we wanna add up this column, comma, we only wanna include those rows where the customer column, comma, is equal to our customer, comma, and where the item column, comma, is equal to item. So you can see we can have multiple pairs of arguments. In fact, we can have 100 plus conditions. Enter. And now we get 507, which is the sum of DOP 090, AB 101 transactions. Okay. All right, so that is the basic difference between some if and some ifs. Some if is singular, some ifs is plural, meaning it can handle multiple conditions. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. So in practice, what am I gonna use? Am I gonna switch between the two or how would I do that? In practice, I'm sticking with some ifs. And the reason for that is simply that um, if I'm updating this workbook every day, week, month, quarter, year. It could be that in the future, I might wanna add on another condition to test. And so with some ifs, it's very easy. I just tack on an additional two arguments and I'm done. So basically from my perspective, I just use some ifs even when there's only one condition to test. Hey, hopefully this helps. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University. 